Uh, so you consider yourself an anarchist, correct? Yeah, I do. But you don't like using that term? No, because it's it just turns everybody off. Except the wrong people I don't in any way want to be associated with. Uh, wh- who do you mean? The SJW Antifa types who think they're anarchists because they smash a Starbucks window. Aren't all countries fake? <laughs> okay, some, some are faker than others. Okay. Some are just invented by some jerk. My gut tells me... Th- Here's what else was fascinating about the Kathy Griffin thing. She said... And this is, again, speaks to how they don't get it. She said that Trump mobilized his army against her and that it was a mob mentality. And what the point I think people don't realize, especially people like her, is Trump is the consequence of this army. The army has been mobilized, especially on social media, because they see these stunt shows and shenanigans. They're wise to the tricks. And they're like, I'm going to do something about it. And I'm sure you've seen this kind of with your audience as well, kind of people uh, having that that, uh, mindset, don't you think? Oh, yeah. I, these people have only themselves to blame. And, and this is almost becoming accepted by everybody. I think even a few of them kind of understand. When we, we take an entire demographic in the U.S. and we ridicule them and we pummel them constantly and we crap all over things they believe are sacred, and then all of a sudden they rise up and say, you know, I'm tired of being treated like dirt and talked down to by what? Celebrities with an IQ of 65? You know, nope. Nope, not happening anymore. And it makes sense. We even see it very recently where uh, Breitbart always said that politics follow- is downstream from culture. And you saw with Hillary Clinton and with Barack Obama, it's only when 50% of people in America were for gay marriage that they came out for gay marriage. Yeah. So the culture comes first, and right. then you have the laws and so on that ha- follow. So same thing with the 60s and earlier. People were getting less and less prejudice, and only then were politicians willing to stick their necks out. Yeah, exactly. What politician, a white politician in America, there's very, very few, certainly it's not going to be a majority, are going to stick their necks out for black people if it's going to cost them receipts. That almost never happens. Yeah, it doesn't even right. make sense, especially given how much more racist America was 60, 70, 80 years ago. Yeah. So yeah, that's exactly that's exactly right. Attitudes in society change and then politics follows.